What's goody, everybody? It's your girl, Poca Lee. It's your girl, Spanish Fly. And welcome back to my channel. So, y'all, we are filming. I'm up there. Don't you know? We back over there. We a few pounds lighter. Which is God. You know what I'm saying? Look, you see that neck? What's, what's popping? That neck coming through. <laughs> <laughs> we about to eat. Yes, but it's And right. we're going to show y'all what this food is looking like, okay? Talk to us now. Twice. We'll be right back, y'all. Okay. <laughs> so, y'all, we back with the food. So, y'all can't really see it on the table or whatever, but we're going to pick it up and show y'all. Well, I can show y'all because Spanish got the same thing. So, look at that, y'all. We got broccoli, plantain, rice, and peas. You already know the thing set up. Okay. Then we have the chicken. Right there, and then we got the steak, the cornbread, and the salad on the side. Mm -hmm. Let's move my hair to the side, honey. Cause that's so it's hot. Yeah. And I'm about to have a couple of questions that we asked in her Instagram and Snapchat. Mm -hmm. So we am gonna answer them or whatever while I eat this food. I got some more rice though. Don't mind if y'all hear my family in the background. It's a big Sunday dinner, so. Mm -hmm. So, you gonna answer, ask your question first? This rice is good. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm wrong. Alright, <laughs> All right, so, I got a couple of questions on my Instagram. I'm gonna go ahead and read them out. And of course, we're gonna answer them. It's time to go look, so. <laughs> I'm trying to go home. So the first question is, how did you guys become best friends? I don't know because I don't even like her like that. To be honest with you. This is Deadline. She loves me. On Vine. Vine. I'm going first on Vine. And to be honest, that was like one of the biggest blessings that I've received by being on Vine was meeting her. Like, it's crazy. Like, when you're on an app, and I see big capping because ain't no one big capping. Look, you'll be surprised who you meet online. That's true, though. That's what it's like. Yeah, but that's what I should make this though when the water comes too sweet. Wait, is, it, water. is that is that made with water? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm gonna do this thing. Bitches always wanna do that, me. Yo, anyways. So, we met on Vine almost three and a half years ago. Well, no. We got off a of Vine probably. I've been off a of Vine like what? A couple of years. A couple of like two years now, I think Vine mm -hmm. has been dead. They try to bring it back though, but yeah, I never so made an account. That's bad. I feel like once it died, it was a wrap. Mm -hmm. So nobody was really trying to be on it like that. Right. Especially me. Right. Everybody was like, oh, hopefully you're not going to move on again. Duh, no. <laughs> it's the duh. And what? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We first linked up at a New York versus ATL party, party in Atlanta. <laughs> at the museum, and that shit was so, so bad. It was wild. I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry for bringing you all right. And she was like, nah, it's cool. I gotta link up again. And I'm like, yo, for real. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's funny. But, I mean, we don't really talk like that, but. Anyway, so that's how we know. We've been tight. Yeah. It's always been like that. I got a question. What or who motivates y'all when it comes to makeup and fashion? Nobody motivates me. I motivate myself. But inspiring is another way. I feel like I feel like a, a good amount of people inspire me when it comes to what like certain things that they wear. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean we're gonna if like just for instance like if a girl got on like a pair of shades that I like on oh, her. I'm not gonna copy her whole look. Yeah. Those are making my own. Yeah. When you say thing, I'll be like, 
Mm-hmm. Oh, she look cute. Mm-hmm. I'll wear this, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not about to go out. You got some people who gonna go out and buy the exact same fit. Mm-hmm. Same style and everything. Like, no. I'm a, if I like a skirt, I'm gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna try and find a skirt in a different color or something. Mm-hmm. You know? And spice and it up. And wear it differently. Mm-hmm. Whether she wore a girly, wear a shorty. You know what I'm saying? Wear this type thing. You know? Planting. Mm-hmm. So, love planting. And one thing though, your hairstyle can change somebody's total different look. Mm-hmm. Like, niggas finish to have the same thing in my hair look. Mm-hmm. Or just give a whole different look. So mm-hmm. I'm gonna say like motivate but inspired. Yeah. Makeup for me. I don't know this, but this one YouTuber who got me into makeup and that time the infinite. Like she was the first person who I was watching. I was like, well, what did she do? Like, what she was doing was popping. So Tom the Infamous is the one who made her mark into my life and made me start doing makeup. That's so awesome. Awesome. Like, like, awesome. like honestly speaking, y'all, I don't really do makeup on me like that no more. I'm more so towards the business aspect of makeup. Like I can't tell you the last time I did makeup on myself, like eyeshadow and all of that extra. It's like that's more so my clients that I do that for. You know. So to say makeup, I don't know who, but some of the things is more cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking back in the nigga Jay. Um, who else I fuck with? Who I love a legend. Um, I fuck with now Underdog too. Blue Marie. What? What? I fuck with all them. Reese. I can't mm-hmm. forget where to read that. Mm-hmm. That's what inspires us. I'm into makeup, but I'm not a makeup guru like my best friend. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's even times to this day, like, I'm having to call her up, like, yo, sis, like, which highlighter should I get? Who looks better on my skin, you know, my skin tone? Because she told me the other day, like, sis, help me. What do I get? So, you know, but you know it's crazy like over like time like I really I feel like I really improved on my makeup because of my best friend like to be honest girl you know I look I used to not know to do my eyebrows when I first started doing my eyebrows sister to tell me said, that's, not, that's, not, that's, not, that's not how you do it you're doing it wrong a little bridal and a bit of brown but yeah that's what my next question was, would you date someone from IG? I mean, it really depends. Where I get them? Hell yeah! You don't want my baddies. No, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it really depends. Like, it depends on the status quo of IG. We talking about that. You got lames on IG, but yeah. they like IG lame, but. Then you got people on like on on IG Instagram who got mad followers that's like, black and white. Like yeah, like they they cool, they down to earth. You know you don't wanna uh, you don't wanna underestimate someone because you meet them online. But now she probably meeting like a question. It depends too, like how you do the question. You can just you should just say, would you date somebody of IG? She mean IG like Instagram like famous like Instagram famous who like. Mm-hmm. 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 Zani boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Would you date somebody like him? Mm-hmm. I would love to, but I know I would, I would not be able to because first of all, my nigga, you're too fine. Like I just feel like it's a borderline between fine. Like you can't be old D fine. Like you gotta be fine and ugly. More so on the ugly side because if you were a little too fine, then you be feeling yourself bad. Like, Issues. Like, I'm very insecure sometimes, and I'm just like, listen, really? I know you're fine. I'm not, not insecure with myself. Well, I was with my nigga. Like, you fine, and if I think you fine, I know bitches out there don't think you fine. And if a bitch can't okay, think you don't try something, you know? But you're gonna be fine to somebody. Yeah, but don't be fine to him because it's mine. Because my nigga. I'm the only one who's Okay, so when you blow up, 
Uh, one day, right? Yeah. Poke a fucking week, right? Yeah. Alright. If a dude feeling the same way that you feel, but you really feeling him, you gonna feel some type of way like, why are you doing that? Cause, what? Cause I'm like, I'm, I'm known, and you don't wanna mess with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta think about it. Okay. I wanna date somebody on Instagram. <laughs> I'm not dating you if you want Instagram. Like, if you Instagram him, it's like, I just feel like, all right. Like, back then, like, let's go. Like, we should talk to this girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, back then, he was, like, Instagram. Like, he was like, Instagram or whatever. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I didn't like it because I used to be like, who's all these little catties on your, your comments? Like, who are they? And he used to be like, oh, they're nobody, they're little fans. No. All right. So, I that and me, I be bringing everything. I be who this, who this, all the likes, comments. That's me. So I mean, I'm not I'm gonna say no. I'm I'm say no. I'm I say yes, that person, but I'm changing my answer. I feel you, but I really feel like it depends how they treat you and how they show you. You know what I'm saying? Because you gonna have a guy that's gonna spit game and all that extra shit. <laughs> They gonna do that with everybody, but if they show me something more important otherwise, then I feel like why not? I don't know, it really depends on me. So to answer that question, it depends. It depends on the status quo to me. That's my answer. It depends on the status quo because some people let Instagram take over their life. True. And like it a lot they don't they don't remember reality. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of them to you know have that outside or into the relationship of Instagram, right? Like, mm. No, I think you're not doing that. I'm fooling my evil. What kind of side? So that's the that. I got a question. Um What's some things in 2018 that you let fly that you won't let fly in 2019? <laughs> That's a good question. You want to go first? You want to go first? To be honest, people take advantage of me. Using me. I was saying to not be used, taken advantage of. Um, procrastination. I ain't gonna lie. I was I was procrastinator. That's gonna change now. You know what I'm saying? That's really good. Please, please. You? That's it? Me? Yeah. These broke me. <laughs> I'm gonna say what I did. No. <laughs> I was about to cheat and say what I did often in 2018. Yeah, but I can't even really tell him. Um. <laughs> 2018, it was cool. You know what I'm saying? One thing I'm not gonna allow in 2019, though, I'm not gonna allow people to talk to me and be kind of witty. Be nice, and I feel like people do take advantage of me for that. So Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be more gritty. I could be very gritty sometimes, but not all the times. Not in the times that I need to be gritty. And I feel like the times where I don't really need to be so gritty, I am gritty. And the times where I need to be like, What's up? I'm really not like, bitch. What's up? I'm really like, bitch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I feel like 2019, I need to be more gritty. Like I need to be like, no, take a stand. It's not happening. Like you know, that's a wrap. So I feel like yeah, it's a done. Somebody asked me, how do I manage a long distance relationship? You and a person gotta both want it. Put me, put me you and the person not, not. gotta really wanna be in a relationship for it to work. Right? Communication, talking every day. Consistency. Consistency. Compromising. Everything everything in a relationship. Relationships are very they can be the easiest but the most difficult thing. So it's hard. It's very hard, but I feel like when you when you let's keep it up. We all wrong. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But y'all both gotta want it. Right. It can't be one sided. Because if it's one sided, the thing is, you want me to go mad in it and the other person gonna be cheating on you if, you, if it's one sided. Right. Like, like if you put in 100, they can't be just yeah. putting in 50. You know what I'm saying? Like, it gotta be 100. 100. 
You gotta put your all into it. You know what I'm saying? People say like that. Oh, 50 from her, 50 from him, whatever. I used to say that. I'm not gonna lie. I used, I used to be like, I need to be 50 50 thing. But now I'm growing up and I realize it needs to be both 100%. Mm -hmm. You have to want it 100%. No half assing around here. I'm not for Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. My lips look a little dry right now because I facts. ate off all my lipstick. Yeah. So, she was mad quiet during this video. Who? You. Well, we have been drinking. I've been drinking. I've been drinking. Oh, wow. That was completely off. What a moment. What, what do y'all think she's talking about when she said that? <laughs> but what tastes like water burning? That's so <laughs> salty. I'm so sorry. I was just like wondering. She probably loves watermelon, so she. I hate watermelon. Me too. I love bananas. Like, I love bananas. Freaky get let me go let me let me anyways. But yeah, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all follow me on Snapchat. My lips look so gross, y'all. But nah, let me get my lips together because I need some more gloss. Cover that. But yeah, I wasn't as hype, I guess. I don't know. The the look again to me. She can't handle her look so. I actually can. Me too. I just I don't know, like certain like certain types of liquors can like A liquors. I mean alcohol. Oh, so that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my first ever and many more to come up men's with so many more of my mom. peoples and so many more Break of my friends. Up. Ooh. <laughs> Y'all need to come to the club with us if y'all live in Atlanta and y'all want to come party with us. Yes. Come us cause we go visit. <laughs> Follow her on Instagram at Spanish Fly ATL. She's me. gonna make a YouTube eventually clothing line apparel coming very very soon and y'all know. Already I'm know. the first brand ambassador. Y'all do savvy. Talk to me. You already know who what I'm gonna be rocking Spanish Fly Co. Um, it was so good answering y'all questions. Mm -hmm. Um, even though. I mean, we didn't get that much questions, but I hope you guys enjoyed it still. Y'all catch us on Instagram. Follow me on all social media, Pokali underscore. Y'all know yes. what it is, and y'all know what it do, and y'all know what it be. Like, What's I hope you guys miss me. I hope you guys miss me because I know y'all been like, yo, at my neck, Poco, what's up with the videos? Like, what's up with the videos? They coming, y'all. Right. They coming. <laughs> Life be going on, okay? Right. 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 I'm transitioning into an adult now, and you know, I got right. other things to do. So, I hope you guys enjoyed again. And with that being said, thank you for Liz. having me. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Y'all know <laughs> we always going to be here. Catch us on the gram. With that being said, ladies, don't forget to say, and your liner is on. Cut to it. You already know what to do. Bye, guys. No music. Wait, let me get myself together. Hey, hey, I gotta, oh, oh, I gotta, I gotta, hey. hey. I'm not gonna let it. Hey, who you know, spend a hard to a head, clap, she ain't waxing, what's his name? Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. I love y'all, but like, uh. What or who made it? No, 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 no. He's so pretty. Everybody getting cut. I cut. In 2019, I, I black people like that. Let me tell you something. Cut it. Bitches getting black too. Cut. 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 Cut.